guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my Gen Beauty Toronto haul. I thought it would be a fun video to do another haul. As you guys know on my channel, I have done hauls from my Gen Beauty Toronto last year, my Gen Beauty New York, and of course my Gen Beauty LA experience that was in January. So I figured why not keep up with the tradition and do a haul on the creator bag that I got at Gen Beauty in Toronto. It is... It's a doozy. So the first thing that I've got in here is a brush set. This is a very cute pink brush set. This is from Royal and Lang Nickel, and this is their Moda collection. It comes with a powder, a concealer, and a flat top foundation brush. I love Royal and Lang Nickel. They have very, very good brushes, but they're also adorable in their packaging. And I really like these because they come with a little travel bag as well, so very handy for on the go. So very cool. And I'm really hoping that I can get these out like by brands, but honestly, it's just going to be hit or miss. So the next thing that we have is Skin Fix. I love Skin Fix. They have amazing, amazing skin products. These products are so good on the skin. They feel amazing. And I've tried many, many things from them and have never had like an issue with breakouts or my skin reacting to it. So very cool. And they are Canadian. So shout out to them. So this is the Renewing Cream. Oh yes, I remember seeing this because it said rough and bumpy on the side. And I was like, what is that? So yes, this is clinically proven to smooth smooth, dry, rough, bumpy skin, and keratosis polaris. I hope I said that last part right. Dermatologist recommended moisturize and gently exfoliates with lime pearl extract. Very, very cool. So immediately what I think of is I have a lot of bumps like right near my elbow area. So I'm definitely thinking that this could potentially help smooth those bumps away. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this was MAC's first time at a Gem Beauty. So that was really, really awesome. If not, it was definitely MAC Cosmetics Canada's first time at a Gem Beauty. So very excited. And they gave us a little makeup bag goodie. So really cool. I love MAC. I think that they have have hands down the best lip products on the entire universe. So first thing that we've got is a little pencil sharpener. This can be used for lip liners or eye pencils. So very excited to have this. I feel like you can never have enough of these. And one thing that I'm noticing from this one is that it has like a cover on it. So all your um, shreds, pencil shreds, go directly in there so it's not messy. So really cool. Love that. So first we have the MAC Prep and Prime. This is a lip base. I actually own this already and I actually really do love it and I had a few people asking me do you really like it like yes I actually really do like it it feels really nice under matte lipsticks so if you have a problem with how matte lipsticks wear I really do recommend this <laughs> and then we've got a lip pencil this one is in the shade nice and spicy and then a retro matte liquid lip color which is really cool because I've never tried this collection before and this is in Cafe Au Chic. I think these would look really cool together or separately and I'm really excited to try the retro matte formula because I've never tried it before and this shade looks like really pretty. Next we've got some hair goodies from Marc Anthony. I adore Marc Anthony. I think they have phenomenal hair products and I'm very excited because I've never tried this line before. So this is the Strengthening Grow Long formula. So this is the sulfate free conditioner and shampoo. And then they also gave us the leave-in conditioner. This is super fast, nourishes, detangles, repairs, breakage, and split ends, and adds shine. So rapid grow, very, very cool. And it also says it has caffeine in it, which is really, really cool. This brand was definitely the first time I've ever seen them at Gem Beauty, and it's called The Face Shop. I have a face shop retail store here where I live, and I have tried many of their face masks. Their animal sheet masks, they're super cool. My sister's gotten me quite a few products from them, so I was really excited to meet them and see their brand in person. They came out with a new line called Dr. Belmer. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And this line has two categories. It has the daily repair or the clarifying. So, so this is a daily repair, and it is a salt cream. So I'm not, a mineral salt cream containing 8% dead salt, sea salt provides deep moisturization and itch relief for dry skin. So I bet this would be really, really nice if you did have dry skin. I have oily skin, but I'm still always down to try new face products, as you guys know. Just comes in a really cute packaging like this. Another brand that I was really excited to interact with was Glam Glow Canada. I was so excited to see them because they have by far the best face masks ever of all time they're so good they were generous enough to give us the glam glow super mud this is the clearing treatment one and this is apparently in a new larger size so really cool very excited to try this out i don't think i've ever tried the super mud one before so i'm very excited i'll definitely be chatting about this on my instagram you guys know i always do skincare sundays so 
be on the lookout for a little chat about this guy. Next we have Pop Beauty. Pop Beauty gave us a Pouty Pop crayon kit. It comes with six beautiful, beautiful shades and a pretty good range as well from pinks to reds to a little bit of a deeper nude. So very cool. They also gave us a face magnet primer. This is a brightening face primer. Very excited to try this out. This one also has the word caffeine on it. Like, is that a new thing? Products having caffeine in it? Like, I'm gonna have to look into this. I've never heard of that before. So very excited for this. Pop Beauty is awesome. They have such bright and bold products. Love it. Next, we have another brush kit from Luxie. This is the mini detail eye brush set. Comes with five beautiful, beautiful brushes. I am such a huge fan of Luxie brushes. I think they're such good quality. So very excited to be trying out some new eye brushes. I swear, you can never have enough blending brushes. Am I right? Am I the only one that goes through brushes like crazy? I feel like I have to clean my blending brushes like every five minutes. <laughs> I was also really excited to chat with Absolute New York. They have been to all the gem beauties that I have been at, so it's always a pleasure to chat with them, and they were generous enough to give me one of their palettes. This item is one that I'm not sure if it actually came in the creator bag or if it was just during the actual event. So if this wasn't in your bag, fear not. It could have just been a mistake that I popped it in here. So this is an eyeshadow palette by them. This one is called the Twilight Palette. It's very, very, very beautiful shades. It has the mauve -y kind of feel to it. It kind of reminds me of the Naked 3 palette, like the Romantic-esque vibe. So very excited to try this. Of course, you know, whenever I get eyeshadow palettes, I'm always doing tutorials and reviews and swatches. So that will definitely come your way. And I'm very excited because I don't think I've ever tried any of the eyeshadows from Absolute New York but they have phenomenal products, so I cannot wait to swatch. I cannot wait. Another Canadian company that was there is Nude Sticks. They are Toronto-based, and I love the two sisters that run the company. They are so phenomenal. Nude Sticks was kind enough to give us the Babe Boss collab that they recently did with, I believe, five creators, and then there is one lip shade that the sisters created as well. These are not only lip colors, they're also cheek colors. They can be worn as blushes. Definitely gonna be doing some swatches on this as well. I just cannot wait to play with all this makeup. I'm so overwhelmed and so excited at the same time. So many goodies on my camera, shut off. Okay, so let's keep on going. I met this new company, it is a hair tie company, super cool. I'm actually not quite sure if they make more than just these hair ties, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of research on them, but they were really, really nice. So their company name is Gumi, G-O-O-M-E-E, -E, and that's their handle on like everything, so very easy. But they came out with these hair ties, and they, let me get one out so I can freaking show you. They look like this, and you guys have probably seen these around, and I've seen them around, but I didn't really know what they were for. So so they gave us a couple of these. Basically what these are for is the fact that when you put your hair up in a ponytail or a bun or whatever, it's not gonna give you that like crimped look. You know when your hair tie leaves that like, what, you know? You know it was it called, like a, a, I know. When your hair tie leaves an indentation, this does not do that, but it also has a lot of other really cool things that it doesn't do. So it avoids hair breakage. It prevents headaches. You know when your hair's up so tight for too long and you get a headache? avoids that. Handmade and water resistant, strong grip for all hair types, and it doesn't leave any mark on your hair, which is what I already talked about. So one thing that I also noticed was that they were like, yeah, they stretch out over time, but just put them in hot water and it'll get them right back to normal. So I just thought that this was a really neat invention. They also have one that is a little bit smaller and a little bit more you know, tighter, um, and it's for athletics. So if you're going for a run or whatever and you want it to just be a little bit more snug, they also have the same exact thing, just a little bit smaller and a little bit tighter. So I just thought that was really neat. Very cool company and very great people. Really enjoyed them. And that was their first time at Gem Beauty. So I really hope they enjoyed themselves. Keeping on with hair, I suppose we can talk about my faves. I love Ava NYC and they were there again. And they gave us the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I actually already own this and very much so enjoy it. As the name says, it's called 10-in-1 Primer. It's because there is 10 benefits in one spray. So it's gonna give your hair a daily dose of vitamins and nutrients. This multitasking formula does it all. It detangles, nourishes, strengthens, softens, cuts dying time, dying, cuts drying time, cuts drying time, adds shine, reduces frizz, and protects against thermal, environmental, and UV damage. So it's really cool. I do use this as a heat protectant, but I also use it for all those other things. It really helps detangle my hair personally. I get really tangly hair and this really does the trick. So I actually really love this product 
and I can't, I don't know, that was just like a little mini review for you guys. Moving on to, let's talk about a little bit of skincare and then we can finish with makeup, of course. So Pure Lees was there, Pure Lees, I actually met Pure Lees and heard of the brand at Gem Beauty Toronto last year and I've seen them ever since and I've loved them ever since and you guys have seen them here on my channel and over on my Instagram on my Sunday skincare routines. And they were so generous to give me my favorite mask. This is the Blue Lotus in Seaweed Treatment Sheet Masks. So they have the Intensely Moisturizing and the Soothing and Balancing Masks. So very cool. It's just like a little package and it has a couple of them in here. I love these. If you don't know what these are, you gotta try them because they're awesome. Derma E was there and Derma E is another really, really amazing and affordable skincare line. One of the products that they gave us I actually already used because I forgot to bring a makeup remover with me on the trip. So I was so excited to see this. So this is a the Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water. So I was really excited to use this. It didn't burn my eyes, it didn't burn my skin at all, and it smelled really nice, and it really did the trick, so really enjoyed that. Derma E is cruelty-free and GMO-free, very cool. Um, it also says here gluten-free, soy-free, recyclable, and wind energy certificate, so that's cool. And I really like this product, that was awesome. The other two products that I have not yet tried, this is the same vitamin C line, this is the Renewing Moisturizer. And then they also gave us the uh, Essentials Radiant Glow Face Oil. So this has jojoba, jojoba, is that right? <laughs> jojoba, argan, and sea buckthorn oils. That's a lot. Very cute packaging. I love the new packaging for all their stuff. Very chic. All right, moving back into makeup. Benefit was there and very nice. Gave me one of my favorite cream highlighters. This is the What's App. No, the What's... I always want to say What's App, like the iPhone app. But no, this is the What's Up. What's Up. I love this guy. I don't know how I feel about the applicator sponge, but the actual product itself is very, very pretty. It's just like a champagne-y kind of color, and it goes on so nicely. I've talked about this many times on my channel, and the packaging, of course, from Benefit is so cute. Keeping on with highlights, Smashbox was also kind enough to give us their Casey Holmes in the Spotlight collab. This one is the Pearl Palette. I love Casey Holmes. I love Smashbox. They can do no wrong. This palette is so awesome, and I'm so excited to have it. This is what the shades look like. I actually already own this palette, so you guys know I rave about it all the time, I use it all the time, and I can't get enough. If you guys haven't guessed already, there will be a giveaway coming up shortly on my channel. I can't wait. I'm just getting everything prepared and ready for you guys, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably happen closer to the end of July. Next, Ciate London was there, and they were kind enough to give us one of their liquid velvet lipsticks. This one is a beautiful bright red, and it is in the shade... Starlet. Physicians Formula was there as well. So they gave us the hashtag Insta Ready setting spray. I love setting sprays, so I'm always pleased to see these. And then they also gave us a eyeshadow palette, and I've never tried any eyeshadow palettes from Physicians Formula, so very excited. This is called the Matte and Shimmer. It is in the shade Smoky Nude. So you can see it's definitely got a lot to choose from. This is even, um, if you can't see it, it's a blue. So very excited. So this is the Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. This looks so cool. Can you see it? This is in the shade Beautiful Finish. So very excited to try this out. I got another Satin Blush, and I love these guys. This is in the shade Satin Love, and it's just a very beautiful, neutral, kind of kind of has that apricot type of feel. Very pretty. They also gave us one of their Light Up Your Face Luminizing Palettes. This one here is in Ready, Set, Glow. They gave us a new mascara. This one's called Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, and their packaging is so adorable. Ooh, I like the wand. It's kind of like skinny. This one I actually looked at over the weekend. I was looking for a lip shade, so I kind of looked at most of the lip colors. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit. I was really taken aback. So at first I thought it was a black, but it's not black. But it is quite intense. It is like a dark, deep purple. And it's called Vibrant Shock. And you can definitely, that is a perfect name for it because I was totally shocked when I saw it. Next, we are going to go back into hair care and then finish off with makeup. I know I've already said that, but we're doing it one more time. So OGX, they always are so kind. They put it in plastic bags because they don't want it to leak. Like, thank you because I appreciate that. This is the Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. My little braids, 
Aren't they fabulous? OJX had a few hairstylists there doing these really awesome braids on us. And my hairstylist actually used this product on my hair. So the packaging says to put this in your hair wet and then blow dry it out. But the hairstylist did put it just in the ends and just to tame a couple flyaways after she braided. So I think that you can definitely use it both ways. And I'm really excited to keep using this because it was really, really, really nice. This was my fourth gem beauty as a creator. And honestly, it is such a phenomenal experience. Whether you're a creator or an attendee, the energy in the room is phenomenal. Everyone is there for the same exact reason, for the love of makeup. If you've never been to a Gem Beauty, I know that they have them all around US. They have one in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and they have one in New York. So if you are near any of those places or you are willing to travel, I highly, highly recommend heading out to a Gem Beauty. It is honestly makeup heaven. So if you have been to a Gem Beauty, let me know in the comments down below which one you've been to and which one would be your favorite one. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive haul video today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.